What's up, YouTubers? Welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone's doing well out there. Today's video is a really fun one as we'll be focusing on the ending jam section from Uncle John's band. So let's go. Also, don't forget, please subscribe to the channel. About 67% of you watching aren't subscribed. So subscribe. <laughs> cool. So for today's video, like the title mentions, it's all about how we can approach and how we can jam the final section of Uncle John's band. This song is really cool and one of my personal favorites from the Grateful Dead catalog because the majority of the song is a really fun, happy sound, right? Very G major. But for the jam, it goes to the five minor chord, which goes from happy to kind of dark, right? Right, D minor, G, C, D minor. And on top of that, there's a lot of cool parts that we can apply to our loop, which then gives us space to do our own solo and really go crazy with it. So let's dive into the chords, the couple of guitar parts we can loop, as well as how you can approach the solo part. So let's zoom in and we dive into that. So first things first is we can look at these chords, right? The chords are D minor, G, C, back to D minor. And to play that with my pick, I'm using the round part, the shoulder. And that gives a more smoother sound, in my opinion, when you're strumming. And when you're strumming it, you can give it kind of like a subtle bounce, if that makes sense. Right, as opposed to using the point of the pick. A little more pokey, not as round and as smooth as the shoulder. So that would be your foundation for your loop, right? And also just great to know what is happening beneath your solo, right? Because soloing is one thing that's cool, but if you have the knowledge for a lot of these songs of what's happening beneath the soloing, right, that's going to help you a lot more in sort of making the song your own and really having full control of that. So that's our chord progression. Next up, Let's take a quick look at the main riff that I guess Jerry does and now John does the So let's zoom into there. So, so good. For me personally, one of my favorite segments, if you can call it that, in the Grateful Dead music. And with the chords, it's just so powerful. Mm -hmm. 
So, so good. So before we see how to play it, let's remind ourselves that we're still very much in this D minor tonality. Right? You know that scale? <laughs> D minor with the pinky starting from the root fifth fret of the A string. D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D. So how do you play it, right? First off, I'm doing this opening power chord, you can call it. Root D, fifth, fifth degree A, right? back to root D, and I'm not playing the third degree because my D minor here already has that F natural, right? You would then do E, F, two, three on the D string, A, G, right? Second fret of the G string, fifth fret of the D string, F, D, 3rd fret of D, 5th fret of A, 2nd fret of D, 3rd fret of A, 2nd fret of D, to your power chord or open string, right? Quote unquote speed, it can look like this with the chords, for example. One more time slower. So, so good. So that would be the second part that you can loop after you do the chords, right? So let's see how that would sound with a loop. Rhythm. Really cool, hey? Next up, let's check out the second guitar part, or second line part we can add on top of that to really fill out a bit more space that lends you more fun with soloing. So check this out. So guitar part three would fit into context like this, right? We have guitar one, rhythm. Guitar two, riff. For guitar part three, something as simple like this. Actually reveals our soloing scale, which would be 
D Dorian, so a D minor scale, but with a major sixth degree. If that makes sense. So what's happening here? I'm sliding from C, B, right? Five on G to four on G. A, seven on D. Back to my B natural, four on G. Hitting G, five on the D string. And sliding to seven on the D string, that A. And when you put it in context, you would actually, in my opinion at least, want to have a slightly darker tone. So on the Les Paul neck pickup, I'm going to roll the tone back to about, let's say, six and a half. Reason being, it won't poke out as much in the context of the loop. Check this out. if you want and there's our loop three guitar parts now let's see how to solo now the fun part how can we maneuver soloing around those changes, right? Well, in the last slide, we determined that we're gonna be using D Dorian, a modified D minor scale with the major sixth degree, the B natural. Right. ultimate freedom part of this is where you have the ability to see D Dorian everywhere on the fingerboard. That kind of makes sense, right? Another one you could use is your D minor pentatonic. As if we look at the relativity between minor pentatonic and the D Dorian scale, we still have our root minor third, four, five, minor seven root. Right, and within this D minor pentatonic scale, we can do that's little slide from C to B. Let me play D major as opposed to D minor there. <laughs> A 
really cool thing you can do with this song is you can sort of play out of key. And by doing that, it creates a lot of tension, right? So even though our progression is D minor, G, C, D minor, and we can do D minor pentatonic, a cool one to do is descending C sharp minor pentatonic. And then you resolve back to D minor, right? How about that? So you're just going between half step scales. That's really cool. Another way you can do is ascend again chromatically through pentatonics to get to 15th fret root D minor pentatonic. Right? So something like. That's pretty cool, hey? Let's see it now all in context. guys that's today's video focusing on the jam section of uncle john's band again let's reiterate that the song is such a major sounding song right and then when it goes to the jam it goes minor and very dark sounding at times which is so so cool to have those contrasting sounds and feels in one song so with all that being said if you enjoyed today's video Please press like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.